What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing all right. Can't complain. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff. All right. Today's reaction video is gonna be. Hmm. Damn. I have a piece of cake. So left over there. Anyway. Here's what newborn animals look like, alright? We're gonna see what newborn animals look like, alright? Yeah, let's just get into the video. I really wanna pet them. Well, or at least just a bit. Hey, it is a demon star from the problem unit. Alright, let's go. Hi, everyone. No doubt some animals are simply adorable. So cute and fluffy. I hear just rabbits really are stink. Well, or at least just admire them from a distance. But baby animals are even cuter. I don't like cats. You, them, you might even experience cuteness overload, and some of them seem to defy all laws of nature. But first things first, today you're going to see some cute and charming baby animals. Let's get it on. Giant Panther. Pandas are unique animals. They belong to the bear family, but are considered herbivorous because in most cases they prefer bamboo to any other food. In the wild, pandas live only in China. These animals are regarded as one of the symbols of the country. Half of all panda births Aww. result in twins. However, it's very rare for both cubs to survive, as giant pandas almost always abandon a cub because they can't produce enough milk for both of them. Baby pandas are very tiny, blind, toothless, and weigh from 90 to 130 grams. For comparison, an adult giant panda weighs from 70 to 125 kilograms. I don't know what I mean. Many cubs are born very small and weak, but baby pandas are especially vulnerable. Some scientists believe the reason for that is hibernation. Pandas, like other bears have learned to control their pregnancy so that it doesn't overlap with the hibernation period. However, all That's bear cubs smart. are quite strong enough, unlike baby pandas. It is still unknown what the reason behind this drastic difference in size is. Of course, there are different theories, but pandas are not very willing to breed in captivity, and so it's quite difficult to study their newborn cubs. Turtle. There are several species of sea turtles, but they all have common features. First, they live in water, and second, they have a similar reproduction sequence. Sea turtles use beaches and lower dunes to nest and lay their eggs. Typically, they do it at night and away from the tide line. Most females deposit eggs only once every three to four years. Yes, turtles are very thoughtful about the breeding process. One clutch may contain about a hundred eggs, and the incubation period can last up to two months. When it's over, small turtles hatch from the eggs and immediately rush to the water. Alas, not all of them survive. Some of the babies die along the way, hunted by birds, but Aww. even the sea turtles can't feel safe. Scientists Aww. estimate that as of a thousand babies, only half a dozen reach adulthood and can produce offspring. The reason for that is predatory fish and human activity. For example, turtles often get entangled in the nets of crab catchers yeah, and entanglement. giraffe. The giraffe's pregnancy lasts from 400 to 460 days, days on for which one cub is usually born, although in rare cases it can be twins. During Don't touch me that dirty looking tongue. giraffe is actually standing, but a baby giraffe can't stand on its own yet. No wonder, few baby animals are born ready to behave like an adult. However, like <laughs> many ungulates, <laughs> giraffes grow up very quickly. A few hours after birth, the baby can not only stand, but also run. However, during the first one to three weeks, he spends most of his time in hiding. During this time, the pattern on their skin gradually changes, and the giraffe learns to blend in with the surrounding environment. He still stays close to his mother, as well as with other females and cubs. Adult males play almost no role in raising the young giraffes, although they are Not familiar. familiar. Koala. Koala! Just as pan. Oh, I love a koala. Oh my gosh, anybody who knows me, I love koala bears. Listen, if there's any way, I know I can't keep it. I know I can't keep it. I know. I just want a koala. Think about this, yo. Think about how dope that this would be. I got a freaking koala just sitting down on the couch, chilling next to me. Imagine me having a koala bear right here. 
That should be cool. That'd be dope. I love koalas. I love, I love koalas. That's my favorite animal. Koala bears? I love koala bears. It's just dope. Imagine me just having a koala bear just, just chilling, dog. Or he's just up on my back. Or, you know, just chilling. Oh. Koalas are one of the symbols of China. Koalas are one of the symbols of Australia. These strange herbivores, which look like a mix of a bear, a wombat, and some unknown plush toy from a supermarket, are popular all over the world. Oh how my gosh. Do you know how koalas are born? The gestation period of this animal lasts from 33 to 35 days. After that, one cub is born. Or rather, a not yet fully developed cub. Like all marsupials, koalas are born underdeveloped and weigh only half a Gram. However, oh, their lips, man. forelegs, and shoulders are relatively well developed, and certain body systems already function. A newborn koala climbs into a mother's pouch, where it continues to grow. Baby kangaroos are born in a similar fashion. When a baby koala is 26 weeks old, it's already sticking its head out of the pouch. And six to seven months after birth, the little koala first gets out of the pouch. At this moment, the cub weighs from 300 to 500 grams. When the baby is nine months old, it's already already riding on its mother's back, climbing branches, eating eucalyptus, and looking incredibly cute. Uh, hold on, I didn't even stick on pandas. I love, not pandas, koalas. Y'all remember that on Fourth Friday had an Australia would kill a bunch of pandas? Y'all don't understand. That hurt me. I was mad. I was trying my best. Like, yo, I was even trying to go, I promise you, I was online Googling how much a ticket cost to go f to Australia. Put them to the sixpence. I say, shit, koala. <laughs> you, you, you're a little too far, man. You're gonna slide over a little closer to me, man. That's a little too far, koala. I, I love you, but man, I really want a koala. People, please help me. Help a young fat boy dreams come true. I want a koala. I know I can't keep it. It's, I know, I know. But if, if I can have a koala in a zoo, that I, I don't even want it in the zoo. I want it home. I want to do some cool ass koala stuff with it. I just want to sit down and watch Scarface with me. I want my koala. Probably the weirdest animals in today's video are sloths. No, seriously, have you seen them? They look like evolution gone wrong. Slow, strange creatures that spend most of their lives hanging from trees, upside down, and they're completely fine. Imagine fun. you it's walking, right, and a sloth just drop on you. You lose your shit. Months. And by the end of it, a single baby sloth is born that stays with you. You're not that cute, bro. Five months. Sometimes baby sloths die from falling from a tree. Because their right mothers don't <laughs> come down to the tree. <laughs> Them. We can't really blame them. Imagine how long it would Whoa. take to travel down the trunk. Those sloths who manage to hang on learn everything from their mother. Yeah, For example, slow. baby sloths lick the mother's lips to find out which food is edible. Again, depending on the species, fruits, insects, small lizards, and even carrion, or just leaves. It's very smart. Anteater. Anteaters are no doubt at the top of the weird animals list. Seriously, they're basically tree climbing vacuum cleaners. Okay, actually, not all anteaters climb trees. Giant anteaters, whose size ranges from 182 to 217 centimeters, prefer to stay on the ground. Imagine if you see an animal. Really large animals that not every tree could hold. The pregnancy of a female you lose giant your mind. anteater lasts about 190 days, after which one pup is born. Like many other baby animals, anteaters are born blind and open their eyes only a week later. During the first month of their lives, the pups feed on milk but gradually switch to solid food. Well, not quite solid. They start eating insects. Through all this time, they ride. Ladies, I get one tongue like an anteater. But their mother's backs <laughs> and their own color merges with that of the females in a cunning way. Like a built-in disguise. At nine or ten months old, the young anteaters become completely independent, and at two and a half years old, they're ready to reproduce themselves. Oh, the oh fun fact before we get to see your the male give birth, seahorse.
I know that. Beginning of the video, we said we'd be talking about cute animals, but perhaps seahorses are not one of them. Sure, they're very funny and unusual, but you can't exactly pick them up and scratch them beyond the ears. To be honest, we doubt they even have ears at all. However, baby seahorses definitely deserve your attention, mostly because they're carried by the males. There's a special pouch on the belly or front-facing side of the future daddy seahorses. When mating, the female seahorse deposits up to 1,500 oh, eggs into it, which the male carefully carries. This can last from 9 to 45 days until fully developed mm. seahorses mm. emerge from it. Mm. Fully developed mm. and quite tame. The birth process of these small seahorses mm. is nothing like mm. the usual childbirth. Mm. The males shrink mm. their offspring off as if from a cow, mm. and that's where the parental juices end. <laughs> the baby seahorses are then on their own. They have to deal with predators, ocean currents. No wonder that less than half of a percent of seahorses survive until adulthood. I've and never seen a seahorse before. Friendly, slightly timid, and very soft alpacas are often mistaken for llamas. So if an alpaca-like animal tries to spit at or bite you, it's not an alpaca. You better yeah. step away. The fact that alpacas are sometimes rented for wedding photo shoots proves how cute they truly are. And what could be more charming than the most charming creature? Of course, it's cub. The alpaca pregnancy lasts on average 11 and a half months, resulting in the birth of one, Kriya. That is the name given to babies. Baby llamas, alpacas, and similar animals. For yeah. about half an hour, the baby alpacas can stand on their own. And two weeks after giving birth, the mother alpaca is receptive to breeding again. At six months old, the Korea don't need their mother's milk anymore and become independent. However, like people, each alpaca is quite unique. Salamander. If you love reading. <laughs> Then when you hear salamander, you probably think of a mythical lizard. I thought it was small. In reality, of course, things are a bit different. Salamanders are amphibians that look like lizards. Most of them have a rather boring appearance, and it's unlikely that you'll pay any attention to a salamander if it runs somewhere nearby in the grass. Like you. Many other animals on our planet, salamanders can produce offspring both by laying eggs and live birth. Everything more or less depends on their species. And let's say thank you to modern technologies. You can monitor the entire process of a small salamander being formed. You know, all this cell division which you probably learned in school, but have already happily forgotten. True. See, I wouldn't see none if I see a salamander. I'd trip out. See how big that thing is? Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Okay, Do that's it. thoughts focused on the future? Is it? Like, is it Texa? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, that's cool then. Uh, say I wouldn't say nothing if I see a lot of sal salamander. Well, see how ugly that thing is? That thing looks ugly and it's big. Gosh. But I really want a koala though. Oh, no cap. No cap. I want my koala. Please help me get my koala. Help a young fat boy get a koala. That's all I want. Imagine me get a koala. You can imagine how dope this channel. You can imagine. Y'all know my energy and how cracky I am alone. Imagine if I have a freaking koala bear. I think I can get him a little chill. I'll get him his own chill. Put him right up here. And my koala bear just be sitting on chilling, eating his bush. But yo, oi, that shit dope. Hey, yo, yo, all right, all right, all right. React to that one right there. Yeah, yo, 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 Wally. I, I, I think I call him Wally. No, no, no Koala. Wally. I think I call him Wally. Yo, Wally, what's up? What's up? You eating this bush like a real rascal? But until that day comes, just gonna, you just, just, just gonna slap me alone, alright? But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Anything you want me to react to, let me know. I'll try my best to get on it as soon as possible. Alright, until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.